Alrighty then, welcome back and thanks for checking in again with me, Nathan, here with Lewis Garden Services. Um, yeah, I completely lied to you all. No, I'm not an actor pretending to be a gardener or a grounds maintenance guy. I uh, lied to you about saying in one of my videos that I may not have much more tree work to show you. Apparently, if you get a piece of paper and there's a whole list of tree work on there, there's another side to it. And I got to the bottom of the list and thought that was it. Went to throw the piece of paper away, flipped it over, and yes, yeah, another list of trees to do. So, uh, so yeah, you can tell how organised I am, all on bits of paper. So yeah, a couple more trees to do. We are off to do an apple tree that hasn't been cut for a couple of years, and the customer likes it cut the way we're going to cut it. So yeah, not my ideal way of cutting it. Just going to cut it back down to the leaders where it was cut a few years ago. It's like a flat top kind of tree. So. I'll show you some footage of that. Yeah, but what can you do with customers when they say they want it done a certain way? Do you know what I mean? They, they're they happy for it to be like that. Um, you can't really say you have to have it like this. You can recommend things with anything. Do you know what I mean? With lawn treatments, for instance. We do a lot of lawns that are full of moss. We know the customers we can and can't recommend maybe some weed and feed and, and scarifying and all that because they'll think, oh yeah, it will look better, but others don't care. Look at this. Can't, um, you can't force them to have jobs done the way they should be done or the way you should be done. You just got to carry on. So yeah, uh, we're gonna do an apple tree. Thanks for checking in. Right, we're here. We're taking the top of that one out. I'm gonna give that a army style flat top look. There's not a lot else I can do with it. Well, I could thin it out a bit, but we're just gonna do that. So um, yeah, this is how we get on. Right, I'm going to set you up to see me do some bits up here. I'll tell you what, I need to sort my life out with this GoPro. I fixed a GoPro stand with um, duct tape because I reckon duct tape could save the world one day. Well, it might do now. Anyway, save my um, GoPro legs. Right, I've got about one bar of battery, so um, if I do run out. It's been a pleasure. I'll catch you next time. I should have put a rope on before I um, started chatting. But you know me, full health and safety. And I'm about five foot off the floor, so... Um, I've fallen higher off swings in the playground when I was four. Not that I condone not following all health and safety regs.
right that's it pretty much done like I say you can only do what the customer asks for and this is uh, down where it was cut last time no thinning out obviously it's come down a bit now just all those leaders were cut out right and what a beautiful day look at that view can you see it? you can't see it from here anyway um, yeah let me know in the comments how you kind of recommend things to customers I might just do whatever really makes no difference to me but yeah job done thanks for checking in